Good morning from day 52 of my 2024 AT journey. Um, we are on our descent down from Smarts Mountain right now. It's not been a great morning or a great night. Um, the shelter was, or actually the whole camping area, was full house last night. There were, let's see, one, two, three, six of us in the shelter. Capacity is eight, but I think that would be a tight eight. And uh, it was actually pretty okay until one person in the shelter started snoring like a zombie. <laughs> uh, it was the most bizarre snoring ever and it wasn't consistent and he would stop and then go and like it was just a very weird snore and it was loud. I don't think any of the other five of us really slept last night. Lots of tossing and turning, even with earplugs. All you could hear was the snoring. And uh, yeah, so I didn't sleep well. And then I woke up with a migraine this morning. Nausea, the migraine. I had the sweats when I got out of bed and I was just like shaking kind of. Uh, I took some Excedrin and ate breakfast and I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, but I'm supposed to be hiking almost 15 miles today. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that. We'll see how the day goes. Jordan's hiking around, what is it, Jordan, like nine? Yeah, a little over nine. A little over nine miles to Goose Pond Road, which is where I will say goodbye. He has a shuttle coming to get him there. And I'll keep hiking. Um, yeah, it was all Nobos last night. There's people tenting around the shelter. The official tent site nearby the shelter, I think was full. So it was a popular spot to stop, which I'm surprised about because it's a dry campsite. <laughs> so you have to carry your water up. I think I mentioned that in yesterday's video. So I wasn't really expecting people to be staying there because I think most people try to avoid <laughs> dry campsites but it was full so yeah it's another freaking hot day humid it rained last night it was raining when we got up this morning but it stopped by the time we got packed up and out of the shelter it's supposed to rain I think again tonight potentially but uh, I'll probably be tenting because even if I go 12 miles, which is like my bailout plan, and go to Moose Mountain Shelter instead of the stealth site I'm going to. Um, I won't be sleeping in the shelter because the shelter supposedly leaks in three places. And if it's supposed to rain, I'd rather be guaranteed to be dry in my tent and pack up a wet tent. Because tomorrow I'll be heading into Hanover anyway, so I can dry out. But, uh, yeah, I'll check in with you later at some point. Mosquitoes are out. And it's going to be a struggle today, but see you later. Yeah. It was so cool even though we didn't sleep well. Yeah, same. Like it was cool to stay in there. Mm -hmm. All right, we're here at, I think, the southern end of Lambert Ridge. It is a ridge that goes on a mile, according to Far Out. And pretty cool. Some views. Low clouds, but at least it's not totally socked in. It's freaking hot. I'm covered in sweat. It's only 9.30. But uh, 
the trail keeps going this way somewhere. And uh, yeah, three miles in, just under two hours for the day. All right, so we've been walking by all these raspberry bushes that have no raspberries on them, but I found the teeny tiniest ripe one. And Jordan found some that are maybe, are they ripe? Yeah. They're ripe. Um, and yeah, I ID'd the plant on my Seek app to confirm that it's a red raspberry bush before I just go start eating random berries. Um, and it is, it tasted like a raspberry. Is that not ripe? I think it was too old. Too old. Boo. The nobos and the sobos have all ripe, oh have all picked the berry bushes over. Well, I got a ripe one. Ooh, good, good, good. Is it delicious? Much better. Okay, at least I got one berry on my on my journey. <laughs> one berry. <laughs> Still on the hunt for blueberries. Alright, we are at this pond and we've got fog boards that are in some a little bit of rough shape and an overgrown trail. It's not actually that bad right here, but it was overgrown a little bit um, a little ways back. We are close to Goose Pond Road, which is where Jordan's getting off. His shuttle is scheduled for 1.30 and it is one o'clock, so we timed it pretty good. Oh gosh. Don't get on these with me. Yeah. We got like the seesaw right here. Watch out for the nails too. The hazards of through hiking the AT. See you at the road. Trail magic! <sighs> to end Jordan's day. And he has some leftover breakfast sandwich from our trail magic that we got earlier to take from me. Which I didn't mention, we had trail magic earlier at a Grafton Turnpike. She was there with breakfast sandwiches, juice, um, all sorts of things. I have so many like bugs flying around me right now. I'm filming this one-handed with my opposite hand, but uh, we're here, Goose Pond Road. Jordan's shuttle comes in a half hour. I'll probably just chill here with him till it comes for a little bit, take a break, eat some food before I continue on my way. Jordan just got picked up by his shuttle. It's actually Miss Janet, who is trail famous. A lot of you probably know her. If you follow AT hikers or have hiked the trail yourself, she's working at Hikers Welcome right now. Um, which is the hostel where Jordan parked his car. We met a couple of Northbounders at the parking lot there where we had our trail magic and chatted with them a while. Um, and I am on my way now continuing my hike today. Um, I'm either going to be staying at Moose Mountain Shelter, which is in like three miles, or continuing up and hiking or camping at Mink Brook. I feel pretty okay after Jordan left. Like, obviously I'm sad but I'll be seeing him again in a couple of weeks. He's gonna come out and visit wherever I'm at. I think we had some good conversations uh, this week and this weekend about our mental states and things we're struggling with um, individually. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. I think he's feeling pretty good and strong heading back home and uh, yeah, I think, I think all is good. <laughs> all right, so I'm at Moose Mountain North Peak. Um, this is actually past the far out marker for this, so I thought I had already gotten there. <gasps> oh, the bugs are so bad today. Uh, I can't with them. Anyway, I have this like ridge walk um, for a little bit, and then I descend to Moose Mountain Shelter. Um, it's 315. The shelter's like about a mile away, I think, at this point. Um, 
which means I think maybe Mink Brook, where I was uh, planning on pushing to, is maybe like three, if I had to guess, three miles away, three and a half. Um, so I think I'm going to try to push there. I just like the idea of sleeping uh, closer to water because I'm going to be down to like a liter of water only probably by the time I get to the shelter and I'd have to cook with that drink from it tonight and drink from it tomorrow morning until I get down to Mink Brook, which I guess wouldn't be that far, but I just heard from Jordan. He got back to the hostel and got his car. He's going to start the drive home and uh, yeah, that's good news. All right, so I'm 0.8 miles from camp um, at Mink Brook. I just spent a little bit of time up on top of Moose Mountain South, chatting with another sober, um, Caitlin. She has through hiked um, Sobo before, is through hiking Sobo again, and has also like repeated um, probably another 1,400 miles, she said, of trail. Um, so I was just chatting with her, getting some, um, I guess feedback and like advice about how to combat boredom, um, on trail now that we are out of like the fun above treeline terrain. So that was a nice conversation and, um, I might see her again tomorrow in Hanover. She's thinking about staying potentially at the same place that I'm staying at tomorrow night um, since tomorrow's supposed to be rainy. Um, I think she's headed either into Hanover or as close to Hanover as she can get before the rain comes tonight. Um, she's really fast. She started early to mid-July um, at Katahdin and is already <laughs> um, here almost in Hanover um, less than a month later. So she is cruising right along. So after Hanover, um, if she stays, I probably won't see her again. But she's super nice, super awesome. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to get to camp and sit down and eat some food. I had some more food at a protein bar. I think I said that already. Um, and then at Moose Mountain South, while I was sitting there, I had a couple Slim Jims, and uh, yeah, feeling pretty, pretty hungry though still. It's 4.35, I'll be to camp probably by quarter till, because the trail is super smooth and easy walking. I'm descending quite a bit though, so um, yeah, I'll see you at camp, bye. All right, so here is camp. I'm at Mink Brook. As you can see, I swapped my tent to the duplex. If you missed that in my gear update video, I've got the brook right next to me. I'm gonna probably soak my feet in here and clean off all the mud from my legs. The fire ring is right next to my tent, so hopefully no one else shows up and thinks making a fire is a good idea. Someone put their trash in there, so I'm gonna do something about that, um, just in case there's food in it. And I'm gonna get my bear line hung somewhere um, and get some food in me and lay down and relax.